forget about us Put the blame on me If I don't see a yellow ribbon around the old And while the rest of the world might be waiting for the opportunity to screw you from behind without the benefit of lubrication, you're OK, cos you've got back up. <laughs> You'll never, to borrow from that much-loved Mersey anthem, walk alone, even if you fucking wanted to. Wouldn't be money laundering, would ya? That's exactly what I'm doing. And 10% of it's ours. Since when? Since I renegotiated my terms and conditions. And once we've got enough, well, I can retire from the family business and... And what? Mum being inside. Dad going through, well, what he's been through. Kind of got me thinking what I want from life. What's important to me and who. We know your family's important to you. I've always known that. I know how hard I've had to work to get that together. How many heads I've had to crack. The risks I've taken. And I know Mum and Dad said I can have a bigger piece of the pie, but I'm wondering... Why can't I have a pie of my own? Yes, lads? If you're doing this for me, then don't. Because when it all turns to rat's piss, I'll be the one getting the blame. It won't. We're all right with what we've got. We don't want, we don't need any more. Yeah, for now. But what about later? What if we decide to have kids? Where did that come from? A couple of months back, if I'd have asked you what your family was, you'd have said your mum, your dad, Mandy, Shane and Micka. I was just your wife. Kids weren't even part of the plan. A couple of months ago, we nearly split. My dad was a junkie, and Mum could have been facing life for murder if that twat hadn't survived. All I'm saying is, I want more for the effort I'm putting in. For you and me, for our future. I'm tired of carrying passengers, Karen. We've run out of audit. Mum said, put it on slow. See you later. Uh, no, you won't. Karen and I are having an early night. It's my mum's welcome home, dude. But you've got to be there. I don't got to be anywhere. Look, tell her I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not just a Maguire. I'm Jamie Maguire. You're Karen Maguire. This is my family. I've come to apologise. I'm doing this for Mandy. I love her. I and mean, we want to make her go of it. She needs her family. She's got her family. Karen, see what this bloke wants, will you? I thought he might at least have a smile for me after everything we've been through. Don't push your luck. Imagine what Jamie would do if he knew. Will they kill you? Well, he'd have to be quick. Cos if he thinks I'm gonna let him have a pop at me twice, then he's more thick than he had him marked down for. Three lagers, pint of Guinness, orange and ice. And a vodka tonic for laughing gas. I want you to build some bridges between me and your hubby. Convince him that I mean what I say, that I'm head over heels for his sister and that I'm a changed man. That he actually beat some sense into me. You're wasting your time. Try. And remember, I can walk away from this at any time I like. You can't. Well, what are you presuming I want to? Or that I need to? You tell Jamie what went on between me and you. Just see who he believes. His wife, who wants to have his kids. Or the piece of shit that near bust his sister's ribs. That's eight pounds, please, Joe. Take one for yourself. No, thanks. As you know, I've...
You okay? Do you want to call it a day? I can't afford to grow conscience, son. Where to next? <laughs>